Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of To The Moon. So last time, why can't I go to the side? There we go. I think that plant um, did, did so that I couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, last time we tried a disparate uh, mission to get Johnny, uh, John, Johnny, uh, to remember. Uh, or actually not to remember to get him to go to the moon, but it didn't go that well, so let's um, see what's um, going on here. Ugh. You can smell that squirrel, Neil. <laughs> you can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from here now. Oh, right, in the beginning. I totally forgot about that. So let's go upstairs and see what we can do. How is John doing? Badly hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You better be soon. You don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. And I'm pretty sure the kitchen is downstairs. So... What was it? The kitchen? I think it's what the kitchen. Yeah. No, I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or your medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? I was speaking with head. I was speaking with headquarters. Yes, I fill you in after. Now, <laughs> it's even hard to laugh. I thought I left this on Johnny's bed. Oh yeah, where did you find that? I thought you shoot me. Temporarily shushed. <laughs> oh, and I love it. Well. I found a rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There's a bunch more of them there. And in the basement too. Uh, um. Alright. Resume. <laughs> okay. So. But what... Okay, I suppose so. Last paper rabbit river gate to turn. Right, that part we can do. I'm not sure we'll have to check on that. Is he just coming with Yeah. Um okay, I think I will go up maybe well, wait. <laughs> Maybe he will come up here. If you're looking for a colleague, I heard him making phone calls there. Yeah, I know. I really hope that I can do anything. What do I have to do? What is actually behind there? I can't. There we go. No, no, th th this way. Thank you. Oh, it's the bathroom. <laughs> Can I get some light? Thank you. Hmm, nothing real of interest in here. Maybe I have to go outside, uh, out of the house again. Because I can't seem to find anything in here. And... My colleague is kind of... Oh, right, for river. Is there anything here? I can't remember. Oh, there actually is. But, Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Let them sleep. Why is it that everyone is shushing me? Turn it off! You giant. Do it! 
Du Fiss. <laughs> that was fun, actually. I'm a little sad. Uh, I don't want to eat the boots. Okay, so I found two of the people, so I think maybe now I can actually. Where is she going? Oh, she's just sitting down here. I really shouldn't. Uh, I really should. Uh, should watch those two last night. They're up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was well, there something you wanted to ask? Um, you know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were uh, the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my aid and offered uh, me a job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. I help, uh, it helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue um, grants for war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, and eventually I receive aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tom and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. You're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So what are you going to tell them about John? Uh, I don't know. I probably make something up. But it's not. But it's not. But it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the matter of life. There's nothing to hide. This is your full time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else to do? <laughs> is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame though, I'm going to miss Johnny at this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Um, no more questions. Oh, hey! Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two uh, would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you Thanks for him. So, thank you. Okay, so, are you... <laughs> Not exactly my plan to go up here, but okay, I will see... No, I don't trigger anything, so... <laughs> Down again! I don't know why this game is kind of stupid when I'm playing a different controller, but... Hmm? What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. What happened to the music? Apparently, during his youth, he was administrated a large dose of Enhanced beta bloggers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta bloggers. Johnny didn't have a, a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads on to wonder if the side effect were indeed to merely just that. Uh, I tried that again. With return to the wonder, if the side effect were intended, uh, were indeed 
to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount, its impact in his memories at the time of uh, administration must have been significant. You think that's uh, what kept us from? Wow, I can't read right now. You think that's what keep us out of his earlier memories? Well, it's not the machine. I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scrolling them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration, reconfiguration, reconfiguration. Reconfiguration frequencies. God dang it, that was hard to say. <laughs> What's, uh, that should get us past the blotters. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be er uh, early enough to transfer his desire of it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, We'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that is this strongly in the uh, brightest inaccessible memory. Inaccessible memory, god dang it. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory intentionally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious, unconscious. God dang it! I'm bad at reading today. That's horrible. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Ahem. Forgot my coffee. <laughs> Receive no beta bloggers. Um, I think maybe I will. It smells. Quit bragging. <laughs> Good bargaining in and out of doors. The road clearly, it smells. I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. The last memory, the one we uh, were stuck at, it was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptor, uh, a direct link to the brain's link uh, limbic system, lady. <laughs> Don't you see what this means? Uh, 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 what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We could, uh, we could use it to stimulate. Uh, we could use it as a stimulus to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still uh, suspectable. Suspectable. Uh, I think that was how. You know. I, I think I'm missing some vital con contextual info on this whole thing. All right, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch the piece of rope kill. Yes, I. Wait, what? Wait, you should. Why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran it over. Exactly. I already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of love you can borrow. They aren't really disposable gloves, but they'll probably change after this. Okay, so now I'm going to get the rope kill. 
What a beautiful thing to do. So, at least the death of the squirrel was not in vain at all. So, that's kind of a good thing. Oh crap, I forgot how long the way uh, the way down is. Huh? Did you lose? Yeah, I th think that actually happened once before. I can't remember. <laughs> it has been so long since I played the first part of this game. Oh, actually, it has been a month or so since I played the first part, but... Again, the thing of remembering stuff sometimes. I should probably watch the series when I'm done with it. The kind of thing this job gets me into... It's not safe to just bring a piece of rim-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. I'd at least make it auto, uh, auto uh, controllable. Okay, then we take that. Where are we going? I... I gotta go take a leak. But the toilet is over there. Actually, it's upstairs and over there. What a mess. The car stuck everything up. Fair shock everything up. Let's see... Ah, here it is. Receive valve container. Now I've got s <laughs> now to get some of that dirty work kill. Ugh. Receive contained work kill odor. I don't want anything more to do with this. What was the other thing to throw out of the car? This painkillers? Hmm. Well, what's up with the painkillers, though? That's just maybe they just have painkillers in the car. I don't know, but she seems kind of confused about it. So maybe there's something to do with. Oh, hey. Did you get the Rokel? It's ready. Great! Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil? Those painkillers. I think they're yours. Hey! May I ask you why you are on them? I wasn't going to tell you, but uh, this is embarrassing. A few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You just walked into a wall like that. What can I say? I was in deep form. You know how deeply I think. <clears throat> well, no. There are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall. There was a much made in heaven, I say. Anyways, you get the road kill, right? Let's hurry. John's dying back there. Neil? You aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose before I sink to that level of contrived mess. Okay. Mm 
and we're back so when we get that exact point I will send the signal when I do I want you to release the valve for about three seconds certainly about the time you showed up hey you made sure the gems are sealed off Fully sealed and filtered. Not like I'm mad to, to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. And back. Act 3. They shine the lights at the other lighthouse and at me. Let's go. Oh right, the plant over there was the thing. I still not the plant, the ball. God dang it. <coughs> Sorry about that. To think that this little thing causing so uh, so much trouble. I've uh, I just want to kick it uh, to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send a signal and hope. Well, ready? Something's happening! Quick, send it again! What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over me, Lily. This condition has been deteriorated. Destabilized. Intake levels must be uh, reconfigured. Uh, what's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out! What? Get out of his memory now! What are you talking about? If the system doesn't uh, restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You got to be. What aren't you getting out then? I can't kneel. If both of us get out onto this state, our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you're freaking... Don't put that country for crap on me. This and a movie, and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, uh, then probably pay... Uh, Screw that, if you're gone, you'll probably pay, uh, pay me with uh, Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the world kill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exam. Doctor? I think we're okay for now. <coughs> Sorry.
And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. Yeah. And at the last Christmas party, you... Oh. Come on. Let's go before that happens again. Um, know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know, th <laughs> you know that I did, right? <laughs> you know that I did. So, can I get over here now? Or do I have to talk to the ball again? Here goes nothing. And we in. I hope. Yep, we're all the way back. Whoa, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? Uh, I suppose not. Never mind, I just... I just hope I'm wrong. I can't... So... What is wrong? Well, that you have to find out next time. I'm so evil to start the episode here. Sorry about that. But I don't want to get into too much story because um, I'm almost out of time. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos and I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time, farewell.